Hello, it's Pixel Weekly, back with another video. This time I'm doing another Blender tutorial, but I'm actually doing something a little bit different. I didn't like how long the last tutorial was. It was a 30 minute big tutorial. So I'm actually thinking about doing a small tutorial every, like, every so often of uh, just things that you guys request me to do on Blender, Blender Video Editor, and just things that, you know, I, I've gotten requests for. And instead of doing a big video full of everything, just little tiny videos that would help you and uh, something, uh, a question you have. So today we're actually going to do adding text to video, and uh, sadly there's no easy way to add text to video within the editor. You actually have to open something else, and I'll show you. But first, I actually did not show you. When you open Blender, it may show something a little bit like this. Uh, to get out of that and get to the um, thing that I was on, you actually need to go up here. Oops, that's not the right one. Right here, and then change it to properties. And then you get the thing that I had in my last video. I, I had someone ask me about that, and I forgot. I completely forgot to show you how to do that last time. So this is uh, this is your you know editor. This is your properties editor. And um, so to add text to video, let's first let's pull up a video. I need to get a thing. I need to get a video. I I can probably just use something in here. Okay, so we have our video here. We can just go in DCIM 100 photo, and we have two videos that I have. Uh, this one, I'm going to choose this one because it's better lighting. So, just drag that in. And we're going to be adding text to this. So, another question I got is how do you, like, zoom in, uh, to videos? It's just use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Uh, so we want to add a text that says, Apple iPhone 5S. So what we're actually going to have to do is go to, on online, Google Chrome, and then go to Pixlr. Uh, you can use Photoshop, you can use, uh, GIMP. Uh, you can use anything that you can export PNG files with. Uh, let's go down, and I always use the online editor. I don't download it just because I feel like the online editor has more features. So what we're gonna do is actually I don't want to show no ad. I'll, I'll maybe I'll cut that down. So you just want to create a new image. You can use like anything. You can use 1920 by 1080. It, it doesn't matter. You can use uh, 1280 by 720. I'm personally using 1920 by 1080. Uh, and then transparent. You need to check transparent. You have to. That's that's really important. So then, like depending on what color, you just click the uh, like a little A tool, text tool, and you type in whatever you want. So I'll type in Apple iPhone 5S. Uh, that's some weird capitalization right there. And uh, so from there, we want to make it bigger. So I'm going to go and make it at the maximum size. Maximum size. Um, uh, Pixlr allows which is 130 and then we're going to choose our font of choice which honestly in this doesn't really matter um, I'll just use Rockwell I guess and then we're going to change it to, uh, to the color we want it to be in the video so I want it to be white because it'll like contrast the uh, darker tone of the video and as you can see you can't even you can barely even see it because the background's kind of white and checkered that's okay it'll it'll show up completely normally in the video so you just press ok and then from here all you have to do is go to save and then right here on the format click PNG and then you just title whatever you want uh, video stuff there we go um, and then just save it and you can save it to I don't know yeah here's fine and then just go back to blender uh, open your files and go to where you saved the picture. So I think I saved the picture in my pictures actually. If I'm completely, if I'm not mistaken, it should be down at the bottom because it's a V. Video stuff right here. So you just want to drag that in. It will actually appear as a. Um, oh yeah, I completely forgot. You need to extend this out. Make sure to extend that out. It'll it'll appear over everything which we don't want um, so what you need to do is just position where you want it I actually want it to be over the entire thing right click to uh, increase its size and make sure to use these little arrows at the end and then uh, after you've increased its size make sure it's on the right frames everything's on the right frame once you've done that come on there we go uh, go to the right click the actual text you want to put in go to add oops go to add effect strip and then transform and once you're in transform 
it'll automatically put you in transform but if you're not you can just right click it uh, go to go right here where it says blend and instead of replace make it alpha over and that just means it'll appear over everything so as you can already see we already have it here but I don't want it directly in the middle I want it down here so it's not much as much of an eyesore so we can do that in transform as well just scroll down and when you see position uh, you can just change the position of where you want it to be like uh, the Y is of course up and down and the X is left and right I don't care about the X I think it's fine in the middle so let me just put that back and then but here let's experiment with negative 25 let's see how that looks that's still not necessarily as low as I want it to be so how about negative 35 uh, still not quite there how about negative 40 so as, as you can see it's a lot of trial and error and uh, once you have it where you want it you can just keep it there and uh, and then you're basically done I actually forgot how to explain how to rescale your text but luckily it works in the exact same way all you have to do is scroll down a little bit farther on the transform strip until you get to a section called scale you'll see an X and a Y scale that will both automatically be set to 1.00 to make text smaller experiment with the numbers by subtracting from the original number for example instead of 1.00 you could have both X and Y to be set to 0.25 and the text will be the fourth of its original size. Remember to keep both the X and Y numbers the same if you want the text to look proportional. Okay, now back to the video. And you can also add, you know, transitions. And if you want the text to transition with everything else, then let me show you to do that just a sec. I need to extend this out so it's at the right frame. All you have to do is go to, uh, actually first you need another video. So how about we use the video I rejected last time. So HDHC, STHC, the dark one. This is just the wrong exposure. That was completely horrible. So let's go ahead and put it where we need it. And honestly, we don't even need the uh, audio. I'll just get that out because I mean, we don't need it. If you also want to put text in the transitions, all you have to do is uh, extend to where you want your transition to be. Do transitions as you normally do. Add effect strip cross. And as you can see, it doesn't appear. But. If, even if we do this, it's still we don't we don't want it to be like that. We we don't want it to uh, appear in the next one because let's say that isn't an iPhone 5s. So all we have to do is right here. After we extend it out, uh, bring it back. Actually, we just shift and then add another uh, add another cross. But we don't like we don't want that because now it just does the thing it did in original uh, it originally did so alpha over we just do we repeat exactly what we did last time so we actually in this case we actually have to add a transform to the transition which sounds kind of weird which sounds kind of weird but it's possible uh, just do alpha over like you did just do the exact same thing you did on the last one so we of course negative 40 so now uh, oops let me just fix this real quick. Okay, I'm back. So I figured it out. Uh, if that happens to you where the uh, text was also in the middle, all you have to do is right click on the uh, on the cross and make it alpha under or just make it replace. Uh, no, don't make it replace. Make it alpha under. <laughs> make it alpha under, then it won't appear. It'll be under everything. So then you have a nice transition between the text and it slowly fades until you get to the next one. So I just think that looks better. I think it looks more pro professional. Although it does take a lot more time in the in the big scheme of things if you have a large video, I think it is worth it. And if you want to check out, if you want me to continue this little mini series, I totally can. I'd love to. I think it's honestly a little bit better than the big old 30 minute ones. Then you get a little bit of information every like a lot sooner because it takes me a lot less time to make these than the big old 30 minute ones. So anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more Pixel Weekly.